on this 2018 uh, Lexus, I'm just going to show the nitrogen purge part. I already finished. I'm doing a recovery because it was an, an accident. It got damaged. So I already uh, finished doing the refrigerant analyzer test. It was pure, so I recovered it. So that went through the recovery machine. And I used a vacuum pump prior to everything, cleaning out my gauges, making sure there was no air in my hoses prior to recovering it so I don't get no air in my refrigerant that goes into the dirty recovered tank to get recycled le uh, later on because the less air that you introduce into your refrigerant to be recovered, the less work you have to do at removing the air. So the whole idea is even keep your recovered refrigerant clean because you don't want to get it excessively moisture and air contaminated. So here's the procedure. I'm already into a vacuum right now. I'm in a deep vacuum because I recovered out all the refrigerant. So now I'm going to introduce dry nitrogen into the system to put it under a slightly positive pressure. So when the technician takes off the bolts from the lines and releases them, it does not suck in atmospheric air because all the automobiles nowadays are either filled with poe oil ester oil or polyvinyl chlor uh, p p peg pav oil pag oil or pev oil which is a more rare one for automotive in commercial in like uh panasonic and lg and a lot of the other um, VRF systems, they use PV oil, P, PVE oil because it's a higher temperature, higher pressure load bearing and a little less hydroscopic oil than POE oil. So you don't want to get air into the system. So here I go. I'm going to close down the suction side. And because I like to flush nitrogen through a system, and this is how you should think of it. You're flushing it through to clean out and sweep the system of any contaminants like moisture. So I'll introduce the nitrogen in the high side. It'll fill up the high side, and it'll go through the expansion valve, through the evaporator, and fill up the low side last. And you'll see that because you'll see a higher pressure on the high side when I start, and you'll see it start to raise the low side over here. So the low side is closed. High sides open. Now let's open up. This is the nitrogen right here, hooked up to the regulator. A little squirt. Let's see where it goes. We almost went to zero. That's how fast it went. Okay, we're at zero. I want a little bit positive. I want air blowing out when he takes it out, like one psi or so. There. And did you see that jump to 40 for just a split second? But then since this is a, such a large system, this is a dual HVAC system. There's an evaporator in the rear. As you can see by looking at the lines right there, you see that T right there? That's the suction line going to the evaporator in the front. That T is the suction line going to the evaporator in the rear of the system. So this is a large system. That's it. I now have three PSI of positive pressure of dry nitrogen in the system. So there'll be a exit of nitrogen, not an entrance of wet, moisture containing atmospheric air. That's it, it's that simple. All right guys, I'll see you.